Uh, hi, it's the 27th of February 2018 at 4pm, back in the pub. Um, oh, as usual, yeah, I, I start off with by saying I'm, I'm in the MGTOW camp that um, we're all going our own individual ways. I believe there are three camps. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm not in the I'm not in the group of MIG, hardcore MGTOW that you know we go in one particular direction. That's not me. I'm another one. Um, and the way I'm going at the moment is rather interesting. It, it's I don't know. It, it's, it's I, I feel like I'm getting backed up by men here. Um, and it's, it's a tough school in here. I love it. It's good. You know, it's like. You're coming across with these really hard and fast rules. I think that's the way men used to be. We're not that way anymore, but you are in here. And so it's um, it's it's it, it's giving me, oh, I don't know, some sort of, oh, normally, like, I've, AB's after money at the moment, okay? And I can understand. She's poor. So am I. We all are. Okay, well, most of us are. Um, yeah, but she wants it, and she's trying it this way, that way. Just give me the money, give me the money. But no, one of the new rules that seems to have come out of all of this is, no, no money. <laughs> no, no money for goods in advance. No, or no goods at all. No, new rule. No more of that. And it's it's almost like everybody's sort of saying that to me. I think because you're all sort of saying, all right, you, you've got women in here. You know, what are you going to do? You know, we got how are we going to do this? And I'm thinking, well, no, I'm going to learn by it, and we're all going to learn something from it. Okay, it's not just a you know, let's get the chicks in and have a good time again. Go back to that. No, no, no. This is different. Trust me. Okay, we'll, we'll move ahead here. The first thing I'd like to announce is that AB really start to write long, long paragraphs. And finally, things are starting to come out about, at least about Filipino women that were hidden, you know, kept in the background. And because I'm, I'm standing here, I'm standing my ground, I'm not sending her money. As much as I love to and help her out, but I'm just, not. Nah, nah, we're going to do it differently here. Um, yeah, but so one of the things is she said, yeah, I... I I'm not uh, not your wife, you're not my husband, so I can't force you to send money. I thought, oh, nobody's ever said that before. I thought, oh, maybe that's the, the reason for the desperate desperation to, to get married, because then you can force him. He has to send you money. You know, this idea that, you know, I've been talking about, about c contributing energy or you know, input into the relationship. Yeah, well, you don't have to do that anymore. Once you're married, give, 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 give. Yeah, see? Okay, so that was, it's probably not as pronounced here in the West, but it's probably the same thing. But there, it's just, yeah, so AB finally said, yeah, well, don't, you're not my husband, so I can't force you. Oh, I really noticed that. That was good. I'm glad you, I'm glad you wrote it, AB. And that I know now, I understand. I think, ah, oh, right, that's why you all want to get married. Because then, then you can force me to. Well, okay. Yep, okay, not a problem. Uh, and then the other thing, you know, she, she explained... Um, in a you know quite a long dissertation that that yes yeah, she's a good woman she doesn't waste the money um, she really doesn't like you know she would prefer that I didn't bring her Australian customers because they argue too much <laughs> she prefer American customers because oh they'll just send her the money and they're more loving and what have you I thought yeah okay and maybe as she used to be <laughs> the Americans I know aren't that way anymore um, yeah but but it was um, that was her appraisal of the situation just said yeah Australians uh, aren't as easy to get money out of and then, so I wrote back to her and I said AB you're not understanding this at all from you're not seeing you're not you're not getting it from my point of view I explained that yep if I if you ask me for money and I give you money that's it you know you ask for twenty dollars I give you twenty dollars it's gone there is no value in it this depositing trans you're just taking. It's just like, here's 20 bucks, burn it, Psh, gone. And you're trying to say, oh, yeah, but I spend it on groceries. I don't waste it. I'm, you know, I'm a good woman. I do this. I do, you know, I pay the rent. You know, I use your money wisely. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's well and good for you. But what about me? You're talking about you all the time. You're focused on you. What about me? What am I getting out of it? Really, in reality, what's the value to me? There is no value. There is no value in nothing. You know, pff, where's the value? Puff of smoke. Boom, gone. Okay. Now, that's that's the whole point of it. it it's pff, gone. You've taken it. You've got, you, but you're not seeing it 
from my point of view, or let's say from our point of view as men, okay? You're just looking at it from your own point of view. Yeah, we understand you might be a good woman, pay the rent, sober in your habits and that, what sort of thing, but what's in it for us? Where is the value? And you can't answer that, so you just sweep it under the carpet and push it aside and brush it aside. And oh, you, but you love us, don't you? Or you know, you forgive us, don't you? Or, you know, don't you? Don't, you know, don't you like the pussy? You know, blah, 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 blah. you make up all these excuses. Anything but addressing the real problem is yeah. But what's in it for us? Okay, apart from sex, take the sex out because it, you know it becomes a pretty expensive fuck. In all honesty, <laughs> especially when it costs you half a house. And take that out. What's left? The answer is nothing. You know, me, I don't want sex from you. Yet you ask me for money. So where's the value for me? And you keep saying it. You want company. Yeah, you're right. I want fucking company. I mean, how, how difficult is it to understand? You know, and it's just... But, but I mean, I was lucky today. I really... Because I had Joss, Joss the cat from South Africa left a, a, a one-liner, one sentence. And I just said it all. It was crazy. But it just said it all. He said something like, um, "Yeah, I'm saving, I'm saving energy, having a beer, and watching the clownocracy collapse." And I thought, "Shit, Joss, that's just fucking bang on, man. You've just, you've just nailed it." And he'd probably be watching this, thinking, well, "What do you mean I've nailed it?" I said, "Well, yeah, it just hit. It just, I, I put all the ideas together, just came together in that one sentence." Which is what I do on this channel. You, all you guys put in those cryptic sayings, and I, I, I stick them all together, and they come out the most. They actually come out quite logical and good. And I came up with this. And I thought, yeah, why don't, why don't I send a B a beer making kit, okay? And she can make beer, and uh, maybe it'll cost her ten cents a glass, and she can sell it to me or get me to pay one dollar. A glass when she makes it, and something I'll pay her a dollar a glass, okay, and we'll have a glass of beer together. You know, when I want a beer, I'll say, Hey, B, do you feel like a, a beer? She said, yeah, okay, so I pay one dollar, one dollar, okay. Now, out of that one dollar, she gets 90 cents profit thereabouts, okay. So she basically keeps all of them the, the money, the dollar for herself, except for oh, a bit of cost, you know, the 10 cents plus you know, a little bit of transaction fee and that sort of thing, okay. But basically, she gets to keep 90% of it. It's not a bad deal, eh, for having a beer. And then now, if I want to keep her around, I say, oh, I B, do you want to have another beer? Or she'll say, yeah, do you, you know, do you want to stick around? Yeah. And so I have to buy her another beer. So she sticks around for a bit longer. Yeah, we get a little bit drunker and we have a few laughs and that sort of thing. See how I'm getting value out of it? I'm getting something from it. And then we might have another one and another one and another one. Yeah, okay, so we might have five or six. All right. And the whole point is, and then you know, I keep adding them to her tab. Click, 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 click. Yeah, she loses a little bit in costs and that sort of thing. But we both got something out of it. Can you see this idea I'm talking about with synergy? Yeah, the, I've, I found a way with Joss the cat <laughs> and, his, and his, his, his appraisal of the situation. Yeah, and, and we can... We can and break it down rather than say here's 20 bucks see you later it's a little bit like I feed magpies here I could throw them a whole slab of bacon and they could fly off and I'll see them a week later or I could cut it up into little pieces and say here you go and they'll be back you know an hour or two later or whatever you hit another bit yep I mean it gets a bit of a pain but that's just that's how I learn <laughs> this is the university of real life here you know how to deal with the scamming birds outside yeah and they all entertain me in their own individual way you know, they're all crazy in their, their different ways. You know, some some are you know quick at catching them. You know, I'll flick it to them. Oh, got it! And she says, I'm good, aren't I? Oh, hey, you got it. Other guys, I'll throw it to them. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I got this. Ah, I missed it. Yeah. Other guys will come and like, ah, hi, I'm here. Hey, where's my bacon? And others will walk right in. So where's my fucking food now? <laughs> so they're all entertaining in their own way. But I, I break it up and give them a little bit at a time. Now what I'm thinking is. Uh, why not do the same thing with A, B? So, yeah, I broke it up into beers. You know, instead of saying, you know, and I don't want to send the money in advance for the beers because that's it. Once The, the deal is as soon as I send money, it's gone. Okay, because it never ever, it never materialises into anything. 
she even said it. She's not a materialistic girl, that's for sure. Nothing materialises. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do this, going out, nothing. <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't... Okay, can you, can you get what I'm driving at? We're doing the same thing, but I've, I've rearranged it in a way that I can get some value out of it. You know, and I mean, she'd, you know, keep the, the sugar level down so the alcohol content's not too high, you know, so she doesn't get too drunk. And she can, you know, I, mean, I think she could fake it with tea, but I mean, drinking that much tea gets a bit tedious after a while. And plus, it's no fun, and I'd feel ripped off. So why not make light, light beer and, you know, make a whole vat of it? It's, yeah, it's a bit of an effort. Yeah, I've lived on it for years. It's fine, you know, it's cheap as chips. I'd reckon for a small glass, about 10 cents. And yeah, I'd pay a dollar for it. But I've got that, you know, <laughs> she might show me her undies or something, get drunk and show me her undies. I don't know, I don't care. But it's the, the same, and plus, it, you know, a little bit of, just loosens lips and who cares. And it's just like having a drink, but at $5, five beers. And, you know, and I'm starting to think, yeah, there could be, I don't see it between the US and the Philippines uh, because of the different time zones. You know, your morning is their evening. But Australia and the Philippines, yeah, it's a three-hour time difference or something, yeah. And, I mean, why not? You guys get home from work, old guys, lonely guys, whatever, yep. Yeah, hop on the, the computer, have a few drinks with the girls. Um, yeah, for low-income earners particularly, you know. Like, I'm in a situation where I can't afford to take anybody out. You know, it's just too expensive. So for me, you know, it's an option. But, you know, she would need better internet, she would need good beer, she'd need, you know, a few things. But, yeah, I think I'm finally getting it, you know, I, I started it off this way. It became a coffee and cake thing later. But I started it off as a, a, as a drinking buddy type thing, an online drinking buddy. And I think the idea's got merit. She only needs two or three guys, you know, to keep company each week. And she's, you know, she's got a little business there. She's going to earn maybe, I don't know. 30, 40, 50 bucks a week or something, which is something there. Eh? It's better than nothing, you know, and it's regular. If she looks after them and keeps going, yeah, it's regular, just, you know, keeps, you know, you're still there, hi, come back, yeah. And I mean, that's the idea I had in mind, but I'd like to do that myself. You know, it'd be good fun to have, you know, have a drink with AB, it costs five bucks. You know, I'd have a couple of home brew beers myself, it's cheap as chips. Yeah, but it only costs me five dollars. And, you know, but that's the, that's, that's an example of, of rearranging things so we develop synergy you know like she puts effort into making the beer I put effort into getting the money right we, and we put it in there and setting the whole thing up and yep and then you know have a good time I have to make my own beer so yeah we each make our own beer I give her a little bit of extra money and yeah I don't mind then I think well fair enough if I was taking her out I'd have to buy the drinks this is you know a pretty cheap way to take her out I mean, it's about five dollars a glass here you're talking about twenty five dollars to go out just for drinks, as opposed to five dollars. You know, it's, it's got to be, and, and AB is really laid back. You know, it's a nice, casual, calm, sort of, you know, relaxed. Yeah, she just need to set herself up a bit better there. I can help her out with that. I can help her out buy the beer making equipment, set her up with her internet. I mean, you know, it's not a bad online solution to for a female company to have a drink with. And I'll just I'll just say one last thing on this, just something to, to bear in mind. I know we all were talking about other oh, just want us for our resources and what have you. Ask yourself this question. If a guy said to you, Can I buy you a drink? Just imagine it, you might just imagine it. Okay. Someone says to you, you know, can I buy you a drink? Don't you immediately feel like you're gay? I mean seriously, you, you just think, Oh jeez <laughs> like I, I just you know, like if, if, say, Kurt offered to buy me a beer, I'd just, oh, oh thanks, Kurt, but nah, <laughs> nah, I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of like, yeah, you sure you know what one? Yeah, oh, it's very kind of you, but I just, I, it makes me feel gay, okay? Yeah, because I'm so used to buying a woman a drink. Now, the other alternative is, is yeah, we each buy one another a drink. Oh, why fucking bother? Yeah, but I mean, if, you know, it's just a, it's a guy thing, yeah, you buy a girl a drink. She probably, you know, she feels like a woman. Just like I felt like, you know, a gay. Um, yeah, it probably feels a bit, and I would feel a bit subservient too, I suppose. But I don't know. It's just something I, I thought about, you know. So it's just a way to look at it. But just, just in your quiet time, just imagine some guy offering to buy you, you know, two or three drinks and, and put yourself in a woman's shoes. You know, I, I tried it today myself and I just immediately felt like, oh, I feel a bit gay. Yeah, you know, a little bit. No, I don't think I'd like that at all. Um... 
I'm just not used to it. But but that's yeah, that's what, how we just don't understand one another. Perhaps. I'm not saying that anything other than that. It's just the jury's out on this at the moment. But AB is at least trying. She's come into the, the forum, like into the bar, and she's talking. Okay, she's not talking. She didn't say those long that long paragraph out in the open. I've said it for her. Uh, but that's she's at least talking, at least trying. So I have to respect her for that. Um, but no, I'm not going to send money. But no more because it's just gone. No, I'm not here to. I can't help that. I need value. Uh, if I, if I spend you know, money, I want value back. You know, I've got to draw something out of it. Um, and I, I think, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm happy with the way that the channel's going. You know, it's 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 actually giving. It's 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 actually making me happier. It's it's making me a lot tougher in my you know in my attitude particularly to things like that. See, a week ago, I would have given her the money. I'm not going to do it now. And that's largely because I'm in this sort of environment, you know, like this, it's tough. Okay, men are men, yeah, women are women, that's it. There's no, oh, okay, uh, no, nah, fuck it. I've got too many guys telling me, no. Nah. And that's good. And it means we can stand, stand solid, all right? Anyway, enough for me. I'll talk to you later, bye.